Alright, the score.com video, Brad Gagne are joined by Paul Pazlesny, as they call it, Paz, on the Buffalo Bills, the, uh, the linebacker for the Bills, the Defensive Player of the Year for the Bills last year. Uh, Paz, i got to ask you, uh, first off, the draft was last week. We saw C.J. Spiller go ninth overall, two-year Bills, and we saw some slides. There's always some fun slides for the media, not so fun for the players. Right. Jimmy Clausen was the big slide this year. Uh, I don't want to say you were a slide, but a lot of people had you going top 10 or 15, maybe mm -hmm. mid-first round, and you slid down to 34 to the Bills. What is a player thinking when 21, 22, 23? What is going through your mind? you got to be honest, you're probably freaking out a little bit. Oh, that, that was, the draft was the longest couple hours of my life, it seemed like, you know, because I thought, you know, everyone thought I was going to be a first-round guy, and, uh, you know, unfortunately I wasn't, but I ended up in the, at, the, at the right place, you know, it just took a lot longer to get there than I wanted to. One of the, um, the, the toughest parts about your career so far is that you've broken the same arm twice in a three-year span. Uh, first of all, how does that happen? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just, just pure bad luck. You know, I, I broke it the first time as a rookie, and then uh, I rebroke it last year. It wasn't nearly as bad. The crazy thing is I broke them, uh, you know, at New England both yeah. times, playing yeah. against the Patriots. So what, what the chances of that, I, I don't, I'm not sure. But the good thing is it's all good now. And it, but the thing is, it's not like a concussion where, like, everyone you get, it's easier to get the next one. But do you still kind of, when you're practicing now, do you kind of feel like, Oh, what if I? What if it happens again? Like, do you do you favor the arm a little bit? I don't think I do, because when I when when we are in contact or wearing full pads, I wear a brace around the arm now to protect it. I mean, there's two steel rods running through the bones now, so or running along the bones now, so I should be good to go this time around. That's the difference between a writer and a guy who talks for a living and an athlete is that I'd be out there protecting that arm, making sure it's okay. Um, you had a 3.57 GPA at Penn State. You graduated early and. It's been made a pretty big deal that you were one of the best student athletes out there, but you're already shaking your head. Has that been blown out of proportion a little bit? I or? think so. The, the, the story behind that is, you know, once you start making plays, uh, they, they just kind of start giving you your <laughs> grade. So, I, no. No, it was, <laughs> the thing was, you know, at Penn State, it was, every, the focus was football and, and academics. So, you know, we got the best of both worlds. So, I was just in a great situation there. But you majored in finance, and you did obviously get a good education. What do you, what do you see yourself doing after your career with the bill? I mean, hopefully I get to have a long career, but afterwards I think I'd like to do something, you know, in the uh, financial industry. What exactly, you know, I'm not sure yet. I need to get a better feel for it, but uh, it's something I've always had an interest in, and it's what I studied, so I'd like to be able to use my degree when I'm done playing. Cool. The focus now is the 2010 season. Aaron Schobel is the one guy everyone's wondering about. Uh, you want to break the news right now on the score.com? Is he retiring? Is he coming back? I mean, I hope he comes back because we need him. You know, he's, he's a great player, and he'd be great for us to, uh, to have him again. You know, but it's up to him. You know, he's, he's played nine years. And, you know, that's a long career in the NFL, so it, the decision's going to be his. But, you know, as a player and as a teammate, I definitely hope he comes back to join us. All right, Bill's Toronto Series tickets go on sale this week. Uh, you know, it's usually pretty close to a sellout. It's usually a pretty good crowd. They're trying to build momentum, though, in this series. And, Paul, you may be guaranteed 12, 14 tackles that game, so people can buy their tickets. Oh, absolutely. Probably interception return for a touchdown, you know, a big play here and there. So it'll, it'll be a great experience. Just come out to the game. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you. Good luck this season. Thanks.